Now to South Africa. The MK MPs were sworn in. Ex-President Jacob Zuma's party got 58 seats at the new parliament, turning into the third political force in the country. The ANC, formerly the majority party, only gained 40% of the vote in recent national elections. It entered into a government of national unity with the opposition, the Democratic Alliance. But the agreement already seems to be on the brink of falling apart between the two biggest parties now tussling over the fine print. Who gets which ministry could be the breaking point. From Cape Town, Anne Wenzel has the details. The DA, now part of the ANC Government of National Unity, is pushing for more ministerial posts than the ANC is currently offering. They are saying that they want a certain number of ministerial positions and they want to pick which ministerial posts they get. The numbers thrown around are 8, 10 and 12, depending on who you listen to. The former opposition party is also apparently arguing over the position of deputy president of the country. The ANC on Monday released a soundbite from their national spokesperson calling on media to stop speculating about who is getting which posts. But the DA federal chair, Helen Ziller, has rejected President Cyril Ramaphosa's offer of six ministerial posts and seven deputy ministers. Letters between the two parties have been leaked to the media, to which the ANC responded that, quote, Negotiation by leaking demands to the media is an act of bad faith, unquote. The ANC is also facing pressure within its own ranks over its joining forces with the DA. After the initial announcement of the DA entering the government of national unity, many members of the ANC resigned. And currently it would seem the marriage of convenience of the ANC and the DA is headed for rocky waters.